So if you see any, like, extra ammo, let me know. What even is my ammo situation? Pistols at 12, my... Assault rifle is at 140, but that- it burns through ammo so quickly, it doesn't even matter. And I got my laser. Weapons don't really have a lot of ammo either, yeesh. I'll keep this on the ready. To move on. I'm scared. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound good. Big mistake. The hell's happening here? Oh shit. Oh shit. We got a two front battle over here. She says that like there, there aren't like way more of them just shooting the shit out of these spacers to our right. Can't get through that door. You have any ammo on you, buddy? Solomon's reserve, navigator space helmet. That doesn't sound useful to me. I do need that med kit, though. Oop, that's our wrong button. I need to. I'm, I could have sworn the first aid button was, uh. Oh. But maybe, maybe not. Cause I don't want to, have to go through my inventory every single time to open it. Nor do I want to like bind the first aid to one of the quick heal or like quick slot things. But it looks like I'm gonna have to. Aid. Med pack. Oh wait, is that is it just like dead center in the middle already? Oh, no. Okay, I <laughs> just already put it on my bar. Past me's got me covered. Ow, Jesus! Oi, you guys were chilling in the back. Why are you up here now? Lucky I don't have my frag grenades equipped. Oh shit! Never mind. Sorry. I tried to hit fire. Not a good idea. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Oh my jeez! Oh, she shot the pack on his back. Oh, oh! God damn, Sarah! Secret outpost. Read the secret outpost slate. Loyal to your crew, I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to the... Uh, Denobola IB? 1B? 
there's a secret outpost we're trying to track, uh, trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity. You will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. Get to the secret outpost at Denabola. I don't think that's presently what we're dealing with. Missing one rose gold earring with a sapphire center. Synthetic, no monetary value, high sentimental value. If found, contact SSCOM 7312 SVER. The fuck is going on out here? I am looting! I mean, see, Scoundrel would have been really good at the beginning of the game. Get that extra pistol damage from the get-go. Fuck, dude, the mine throwing sucks so much, it always has. Bring it on. My mind back. Yeah! Well, that didn't fuck. That made things worse for me. <laughs> Owie. Oh my god, I fucking killed myself. I didn't expect it to arm that quickly, Jesus. I can't even see where I threw that mine. Okay. Where are my grenades? We've got one frag grenade, three inferno mines. Can I cook my grenade? One, two, three. Yes, I can. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, man! That double damage is, is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, taking double damage, rather. Fucking good god. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Equinox. Dude, there's so many. Oh, the spacer's following us. 
Oh no, it's an eclectic. God! Damn! Man, my health! Fucking hell. I need to, the next time I find a store or something, I gotta like, just take every med pack or something. Good Christ. might as well fucking I, I should just take all this shit anyways even if it doesn't say anything good at this point I'm super over encumbered oh boy Ouch. Jesus oh man Level 12, huh? They still take damage. It's just not great damage. Get Grendel. Let's burn through all this pistol ammo. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No, I'll stab you back. <laughs> this is fucking rough. Whoo, I am not uh, well equipped at all. All right. All right, let's try our luck here again. All right, this is my, this is my home now. Mines. Ah! What the fuck? Sarah, you're getting fucking ran up on. Maybe Sarah can handle the whole situation on her own. I can't take much more of this. Damn it. I'm gonna go down. Don't do that, Sarah. I believe in you, Sarah. Not gonna last much longer. You got this. Sarah's kicking ass! I think if she kills a target, I don't get XP though. Hold up. Or they're just like getting downed and not actually dying. Ha! 
I'm gonna run a fucking heels. Get away! Sarah, lead him into the mine, Sarah! Lead him into the mine, Sarah! Ow, they crit me? Or maybe that was my crit damage. Hey! Oh, this is perfect. Good shit, Sarah. Fuck this gun's iron sights are awful. Was there a toggle iron sight thing too? Let's see. Toggle iron sight. Okay, that's just for like holding and not holding. Gotcha. I'm gonna go down. Sarah, don't stand in front of me. I'm gonna use my eyes, but I say I'm gonna use my last med kit I already have. Fuck, dude, this is crazy. Where's the damage reduction shit? 75 damage resistance for three minutes. We're gonna eat all of the food items. Can I sort by actually heals me, please? God. I might need to like legit invest in the food trait or some shit, cause this five health is so fucking worthless. I'm gonna look at the skill tree real quick. Uh... You can craft gourmet food and drinks! Oh, this is- oh shit, I, I should have been putting stuff in here, too. That's okay, we're early level! I could have sworn- where's the f food point thing? Oh well. I'm in a bad situation. Alright, Sarah, it's all you. I, I have no fucking heals. Might as well take Ow! Get out there, Sarah! Fuck yeah! It doesn't matter if they don't... Ow, if I don't get XP out of it. I'm going to end you! Ah! I think there's only one target left. Please, where's a healing thing? Fuck me, mines are useless. There's got to be, like, a thing that lets you throw mines further than this. I want to use them like a grenade! This is the only way I'm ever- they ever will do anything. The enemies don't seem to run at your mines all that much. So, it's kind of crazy that it's just so bad. Oh, uh, let's see. Hey, there's nutrition. Food and drink are now 50% more effective. 
But I gotta put a whole bunch of points into physical. Good god. 5% chance to ignore physical damage when your health is low. Reduce energy damage, airborne, uh, environmental damage. scared. There are plus 100 damage resistance for three minutes. Dude. Where are you going? You're fucking kidding me, man! He's like right there. 0 0.01 inch away from fucking death. Bro, fuck this, like... <laughs> There's like a general inaccuracy or some shit. Like, I'll have the iron sight slash... ...dot on them and it like goes around them. Is this fucking Valorant? What's going on? Okay. here you motherfucker that's so crazy he got hit with a fucking mine he ran through fire took like no damage Yeah! That's what I was looking for! Fucking Christ, I'm completely out of med packs from this place. Basically burned all my ammo too. Sheesh. I think after this mission, we're just gonna have to do some actual to carry all that junk. side questing. You wanna carry this junk for me, Sarah? Thanks for volunteering. Me. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, you're <laughs> you are kidding. Because you're you're carrying fucking everything. That's what's happening here, Sarah. <laughs> You're gonna carry all of these. You're gonna carry all of these. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, you know, you can just take this Grendel in general. I didn't realize I had, ooh. Ooh, these modified Grendels. What the, long barrel? It's 
got way better damage. Here have these rescue axes, just all of them. I wonder if the weapons have levels on them as well. It makes make a little bit of sense. You know, a pistol you find at like level five is gonna be very different from a pistol you find at level fifty just just cuz. And you can take these packs as well. All right. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. How much? Yeah, 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 yeah. She can still carry a few things. Bye bye. Whew. Okay, Vanguard Moira. This is Vanguard Moira. Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. He's almost daring the spacers to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Yeah. Fighting them has been questionable already. And food has been just really awful in regards to uh, how good it is. It's kind of, it's worrisome too because like after looking at that nutrition thing, only a 50% buff to the food items? What? So something that heals me for five is gonna heal me for like, what, seven? Like, woo! That sounds awful. Huh. All right. We've got a modding bench here. Hazard protection, extra capacity, oxygen reserve. Oh, and you can throw on some skins onto it. That's cool, that's cute. What if I, I was about to say, what if I want to modify my actual outfit right now? We can give it ballistic shielding. For more damage resistance, EM shielding, energy shielding. But I just don't have any, like, good items. <laughs> it's okay. I just leave it be for now. Is there anything really cool on these? Increases the range for enemy detection on the compass. That's not bad. Is this just free? Nice. Mm, looks tough enough to stop a bullet, or worse. I like how for the full suit, it just throws it in a box. Everything else, you can actually see what you're modifying. Alright. Oh! The fuck, wait. You modifying your gear here? What are you doing to your weapon?
What are you, what are you doing here, Sarah? Excuse me. <laughs> Reflex sights. Muzzles. Explosive rounds. Yeah, we do have like the accuracy stat on. I'm assuming the accuracy stat is what like makes my bullets go all over the damn place. Move my uh, Grendel. Looks like it's nipped. Bring me anything useful? Cause I had a Grendel that we gave her, which did a lot of damage. Um, it was like four third. Uh, you know, maybe maybe I had something going on. Cause it should be this one. This long barrel modified Grendel? Semi-automatic? It does 11 physical. Glad to haul whatever you need. Also, I'm pretty sure you can equip stuff on her. I just need to figure out how to do that. Sarah. I press B, I can equip it. Compared to equipped. It's really awkward. I'm trying to equip stuff on Sarah, but it shows my character and it's comparing it to my armor. Here, you can have a constellation pack, Sarah. All yours. Okay. Oh, bye. <laughs> she looked like she was about to run off. I'm sure they had something we can use. I fucking hope. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Industrial workbench. Research lab. And there's a whole lot going on here. The industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufactured components, which can be used for building structures for your outposts and crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. The raw resources used for manufactured components can be acquired from planets and moons by starting an outpost and setting up resource extractors. More advanced manufactured components can be created from fabricators at an outpost. Or is she? We're gonna need to set up some outposts like sooner rather than later. <laughs> Start accumulating the resources I need. Medical treatment. Helmet mods. Barrel mods. I don't even know how much of these things I ha I have on my ship. I still I I've seen the research station. I don't know if I have anything else. All right, let's get back out there. I'm fairly certain there are still. Uh, ooh. Purple gun. Pretty 
fairly certain there's still some enemies on this ship. Rapid Suppressed Grendel. Deals double damage to the targets with the full health, 25% increase in attack speed, long barrel and suppressor. But look at its damage. Ew. I mean, I guess to be fair, that's the same damage as a regular Grendel, maybe? Because this is, this is a more regular Grendel, because, you know, it's supposed to be like an SMG. This one's a semi-automatic, that's why it's got higher damage. It trades off the fire rate for, like, a little bit more damage per bullet, making it more like, you know, the pistol... ...that it uses the same ammo as. But I'm curious, because it's got, um... I'm wondering if you can take stuff off of the mod, or uh, sorry, I'm wondering if you can take the mods off of it and then like put it on a different gun. You know, maybe I could put that suppressor on like the semi-automatic. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? Yes. <laughs> Obviously. If it's not money, it's parts. Oh my god. I was about to say, I saw the- <laughs> I saw the shotgun ammo and I was about to complain, I've got so many shotgun bullets and no shotgun, and we just got one. Coachman. I can go there. I guess I could always sleep. Sleep for one hour. Rise and shine. We've got things to do. Yay, I've got my health back. trying to be stingy with my supplies because I just don't have many currently. Permanently reduces fuel needed for a grav jump by 1%. Uh, cool. Skill bonus acquired. It's fairly random, but I'll take it. So we do have like skill book slash like magazines in this game too. Movie night in the lounge? Yeah, I'm down for movie night in the lounge. Yes. God damn, that guy had so much on him. Oh shit, lock. Probably like this. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Easy. Should I use half? What are the actual dimensions for one times six? Can I buy it dimensioned? Do I want one inch? What is all that about? Oh! Lead line deep mining pack. Sure, do you get a lot of purple packs? 
Uh. Hmm. It's like technically better than my current pack by damage resistance, but I feel like the physical damage reduction is hard to get rid of currently. Most enemies we've been firing have, or fighting have been shooting physical bullets at us. <laughs> God damn. You can't see me at all. Ooh, 5% intimidation chance. Tempting. Right, hold up. We had a we had a, a hat. I could put on the hat. Yep. No cap for us. Please fix. I never got around to it, I guess. <laughs> My cough. When am I going to get better? Cube. I'll take some tissues for when I start sneezing. Fuck it, give me everything! <gasps> okay, alright, alright. I'll, I'll calm down, I'll calm down. Unless it's got like really high value. In which case, you know, if it's like 50 plus, might take it. Tofu! Pharmaceutical kit. I I don't know if there was anything for me in that. to get rid of some of that gear. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry. We're... We're on our way back to the ship. Ah, oh, jeez. Buddy, where are we going? I see. Ooh, you see security helmet. Fun looks.
movement speed up and jump up? Wow. This is creepy. Stressed management can help. Does management give you like shoulder rubs while you soak your hands in like hot water? Whoopsies. Kidney dish. Ugh. <laughs> Missing question mark? Uh, there's a fucking, like, bullet hole and blood on this medical bed. I don't know. Maybe not missing, might be more like found. The gravity paradigm. Truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes and not only creating, but maintaining a stable and sustainable Einstein a uh, Rosen bridge. That was the goal, the end point. No one had even considered that maybe that was just the beginning. When we look at grav drive technology today, and the ease at which we fold space and travel light years and seconds, it's sometimes easy to forget the impossibility of what we've achieved. Dr. Josephine Inatu's seminal work continues for another 535 pages, and has become the most highly respected text on grav drives and grav jumping ever written. Wow. Search and rescue key. Where does that go to? Hard times. Book the first, sewing. Chapter one, the one thing needful. Now what I want is facts. Teach these boys and girls nothing but facts. Facts alone are wanted in life. Plant nothing else and root out everything else. You can only form the minds of reasoning animals upon facts. Nothing else will ever be of any service to them. This is the principle on which I bring up my own children. And this is the principle on which I bring up these children. Stick to the facts, sir. By far the smallest of Charles Dickens novels, Hard Times chronicles the lives of the residents of Coketown, a fictional Victorian industrial mill city. Oh. There are a lot of old school books I haven't read that I think are just getting referenced over and over and over in this. Take those for selling. <laughs> Neon gang culture. Now that I need to know about. And yet, despite its reputation as the Settled System's premier pleasure city, Neon is also home to a plethora of criminals, ruffians, and assorted dregs. Some of these malcontents merely walk the streets alone, preying on lost tourists who've strayed too far from the beaten path. But the worst offenders are the organized groups, those who have banded together for a common criminal cause. The worst offender is, of course, the uh, Sigu uh, Syndicate. Sigo Syndicate? A crime syndicate bold enough to publicly flaunt their name, and rumored to be affiliated with or even directly controlled by Neon Mayor Benjamin Bayou. And then of course there are the smaller, yet no less dangerous street gangs, the Abside Strikers and the Disciples. As with most gangs, there's, their members pride themselves on being family, but the only blood they're interested in is what they can spill in the streets. Carl Lupino's book, An Examination of Neon Gang Culture, is an in-depth look at the various neon gangs and criminal organizations focusing on the Sego... Sega. Uh, syndicate, Epside Strikers, and the Disciples. He did not have the cooperation of those he wrote about and was, and was warned not to publish his work. Shortly after the book was released, Lupino disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Well, god damn. We told you not to write about us, man. Now we gotta make you disappear. Oh! Ha! Sweet!
Ooh. Uh. You've acquired a needed treatment item. Open the inventory menu. <laughs> you have an item that can cure an affliction you are currently suffering from. Look for items in the aid category with icons that match an affliction in the status effects section of the status menu. Yay! Fine, I'll look in aids. Injector. Used to administer medications that treat afflictions. Treats brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermia, lung damage, poisoning, and radiation poisoning. Hmm. I don't really think I need that right now. We've had this fucking lung cough for like... Uh, I'd, I'd even... I'd go, go away. I'd even press anything. I, I must have fed Pinky to... Whoa. The console command my tilde button. Yeah, surely my lung damage will cure itself. And if it doesn't, I'll use the lung damage treatment. But like, it's been improving slowly over over time. Oh yay, one frag grenade. Okay, we gotta head back to the ship. Oop, I need the sealant. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? I'll throw these pill bottles at you, Sarah. Don't you judge me. Crimson cabin. Neon gang culture. I'm trying to think of what was the last game I played that had like an encumbrance system. There, one of the last games I played this year had an encumbrance system, but like you could send your shit. But oh, it was fucking Baldur's Gate three. What the fuck am I talking about? There, <laughs> there you go. Fuck, dude. I wish, I wish I had a send to camp button. Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just the small in between room I hadn't been in yet. Ooh. There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much. And we'll learn that lesson the hard way, Sarah. Don't worry, you're not immune from carrying shit either. There's a <laughs> there's a skill for it. Let's see. Where the fuck is it? I feel like it's gonna be under social. Uh, leadership. Mm-hmm. There it is. Companions have 50 more health and 50 kilograms more carrying capacity. Just gotta put points towards social at some point. Feels like there's something back here. You know, behind all the trash. Ugh. Oh no. I mean the trash! Ugh. Really nothing back here? Yeah, okay. I'll slow walk my way back. I'm pretty sure I can just travel to the ship, right? Oh, wait, well, no. No, I can't. Because I'm over encumbered. Bastards!
All I'm doing is respecting all the hard work that the developers put into putting all these random objects down. Mm. Ooh. 30% damage against aliens? I, <laughs> I think aliens are the last thing I'm going to be running out with my axe, honestly. <laughs> The Origin of Species, Chapter 1, Variation Under Domestication, included as a rather incomprehensible list of varieties of species. When we look to the individuals of the same variety or sub-variety of our older cultivated plants and animals, one of the first points which strikes us is that they generally differ much from, uh, much more from each other than do the individuals of any one species or variety in a state of nature. When we reflect on the vast diversity of the plants and animals which have been cultivated and which have varied during all ages under the most different climates and, and treatments, I think we are driven to conclude that this greater variability is simply due to our domestic productions having been raised under conditions of life not so uniform as and somewhat different from those to which the parent species have been exposed under nature. Darwin's theory on the origin of species on Earth continues through 14 full chapters, ranging from biology to geography and everything in between. Oh, sorry, it was Darwin's work. My bad, my bad. I've never read it. Reminder, safety drill soon. Who wouldn't want, wouldn't want to catch everybody unprepared? I'm a little turned around. Okay, now, now I know where I am. Apple! I wish you wouldn't highlight ammo cases I've already been through. I think we're done here. Uh, uh, gotta walk off the CO2 in my veins. Neato. Back when we first started hearing all the gunfire. Get me back on my ship. Oh my god. Alright. Cargo hold! Okay. All of this. All of these. Wait, am I taking these or am I putting them away? Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Sort by. I guess we'll sort by value. Oh my god, look at that. It's got a good scope and everything, compensator. I think we're good on that front. God damn. There's so many Grendels. Uh 
Yeah, we still have a lot to, <laughs> to put away, shit. One of these coachmans. Look, they gave me 12 quick select slots. And one of them has gone to, you know, heals, but like one of them's got to be, or like uh, the other 11 need to be filled up. Especially since our ammo is like all over the goddamn place at the moment. Uh Where's Sarah? Everything looks good at my station, Captain. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Hopefully our vanguard will be at Neptune. Feel I'm sure they will be. Some stuff into my bag. All right. Uh oh yeah, we should probably just take stuff off of her too. Well, first off, I wanted to put the pack on you, Sarah. Here you go. Swap back, pack, equip this. There you go. And then we're taking these for selling. Spacesuits. Need to get her a modified Equinox. I wonder if she has just infinite ammo. I feel like she just does. Just wondering if I should give her a uh, one of the modified Grendels. Oh no, she does. She has like an ammo thing here. Intriguing. Bye for now. All right, back to storing shit on my ship. Uh, inventory, almost grabbed those. So easy to like, be on the wrong inventory. These weigh a lot? Not really, but they are... there's no real point in me carrying all of them. And then there's random shit. This is the... this is where I'm sure... This is where I'm sure a lot of our mass is. I'm glad there's a category for just literally pointless... shit. 